Okay, we're on, I think, probably. Yeah, okay, we're good. Hi. Good, hi, hi. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know if it was just like a late night thing that it suddenly was like, ah, yeah, yeah, maybe that's how this all will connect. Mm -hmm. But I thought there are two stations now that seem to be interesting to both of us uh, is a podcast as a format, and uh, a pilot. Uh, and then second was introducing some kind of cityscapes that unmatch or sort of go off the the real narrative right yeah in, so yeah, I definitely in a way. How these two things like they work so well because you i mean in podcasts you create audio space i totally have a random just a random idea um i again i don't know the field of podcasts too much not at all me neither but i don't know what's out there as much I, i've heard a few but um the idea maybe of like telling a story with, with um, you know how we talk about soundscapes? Mm -hmm. Like aud aud with audio, making a sound design. And I'm just thinking maybe we can make a story that with sound design. I, I don't know if that is anything that exists already and music, I suppose. No, it's funny. I was just talking, remember I mentioned to you that I have a few friends that if, this would become like a project that, that continues after, right? Right. Uh, and I have a couple of friends that are both like performance artists and also musicians and composers. Mm -hmm. And just a few hours ago, I talked to one. He was like, I was thinking how to make stories with soundscapes. Like how is to This is a musician? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, mm -hmm. he's also a composer. Mm -hmm. uh, and he was saying like, I, I'm thinking, but it was unrelated. He didn't know about podcasts, nothing. But like he was saying, I'm thinking how to shoot a film without visuals, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, and I feel, I find like all of us are crossing in that way. Uh, the way I, I think what holds people onto podcasts and what makes them listen uh, is really personalities. That's mm -hmm. first. Uh, and I think personalities and, and sometimes, yeah, like sort of imperfect uh, hosts that are mm. talking about usually about either life or about politics or about sports or something but it's usually like two very quirky um personalities mm -hmm. that are unfolding their opinions and commenting on stuff mm -hmm. the 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 at least those podcasts that i'm thinking about mm -hmm. they are like this um so how does that connect to our project? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. The thing is, yeah, that's that's where I, at the moment, I don't have a developed vision yet. What are those conversations? What's the angle where it's going? To me, like, it's so far. You know how I make projects very often? Uh, I read oh. once, David Lynch actually has that. He has put it so well. Mm -hmm. uh, he says, for him, every art piece that he creates, a film, is like a puzzle. Uh, yeah, and I've heard like, something similar. Yeah. And keep like, going in. There's like, there are two rooms. There is one room where all the answers are, and there, you are in the one where you are, you are sort of un, un uh, wailing like pieces. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So that's how I feel with our project right now. I'm like, yeah, definitely. I think these two pieces belong here. Yeah, definitely. What's the third? Definitely, that's how. Yeah, it seems like this project is going to come together. Is putting puzzle pieces together and just finding different ones. Um, definitely. Yeah. Um, the things like that are repeat themes in our conversations. One is some kind of some kind of communicative online media. You know, either we talk about Instagram account, we talk about a YouTube account, we talk about podcasts. So some kind of episodic or like um, repeated, repeatable format mm -hmm. um, where we can output some kind of content that has some kind of a theme. But it sounds like we want to create a structure that can be repeated in some form 
yeah like a podcast might be a good way to try it out like do a pilot and see how it goes um and obviously like if this keeps going then you know we could obviously it could grow into all kinds of different things too stating that yeah we're interested in some kind of like um the format or the medium that we're working with will be some kind of online media what are some things that stood out to you that are have been like just repeating themes in our conversations because i think those are somewhat of the puzzle pieces i'm not saying we have to use those in this puzzle but like i'm just curious what has stuck out to you in uh our like what's been repetitively popping up in our conversations i don't know if that helps our flow but it, it might Hmm. Another one is revolution. Yeah, yeah, and that, that, that is came happening out. a lot. That is yeah. happening a lot. Yeah. I wonder. Uh, it seems also to me that both you and I we feel comfortable when we um, land onto a format, and then we can actually fill it in with something. Uh, yeah. It's almost like we are more comfortable when we're in a grid. So I almost feel like we're kind of dancing around, like creating that grid for ourselves. Yeah, looking for it or creating it, yeah. I think that's certainly a way to work and it sounds like that's one of the better ways for us to work in, is to, mm -hmm. is to find structure first and then fill it in with what we uh, want to express or do or whatnot, so. I just, yeah, I don't know, I'm not, I I really don't know. I'm not getting it yet. I'm yeah, sorry. No, like I am cannot. I, I uh, it's it's gonna be forcing it out of. No, of course, of course. Myself, if I'm gonna come up with something right now, like this podcast, right? I think mm -hmm. it has to be. Um, um, it has to be two people that have like a uh, verbal dynamics with each other, mm -hmm. and that like are playing off each other and like basically mm -hmm. like like joking and it's like pam 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 there's mm -hmm. energy there you know mm -hmm. and with you and me i don't feel that exactly i feel like we could actually come up with soundscapes together or right 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 yeah. we could, like uh so i don't see like us being like oh let's do this fucking podcast it's so funny right yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. so and i think it would be like putting us into the box that's not gonna get the best out of us too yeah uh, but i do see Fuck, I do see that we could potentially create music together. I mean, like, obviously, mostly in your hands, but, and then I have to contribute another element for it to well, be complete. Kira, I mean, one thing about the podcast is like, if it, again, if, if we did a pilot version and then see where it goes, the thing is, I'm thinking of, um, if you want to have two people having a conversation, it doesn't necessarily have to be me. I can take care of the sound side of things, like, and maybe come up with content, mm -hmm. but, but like, I could be creating the, it, I don't know what it would exactly be, but if there is music and a soundscape and a narrative, like, like we described, like a sonic movie, mm -hmm. um, like a audio movie, then, um, yeah, like we if it, if it actually went far, like if we did some big big podcast, we would need other people in the team. It won't be possible for the just the two of us to do it. Yeah, you know I, mean? I think so too. Yeah, but it's like yeah, would be fun to have one more person to riff with. I agree. I think if we again, we have to kind of see if this is the right thing to work on. At least like this time around, I could see it potentially being also i don't know what the like details are of, of uh, the, the, this project and collaborative um, like bringing other people we have to see that but um but i also can see for instance for us we could also test there is another option yeah because we don't like have to test. yeah we, we can do a test run just to air it but like yeah exactly I think we could potentially do something like that. Like if, you know, we could, um, it, we could try, yeah, doing a test where both of us are 
you know, on, on the recording. And then we tell stories or something like that. And then I can make the soundscape. And then eventually like we just, we test the format really. Like, I guess, I, I guess. I want to see like, I want to see what, what are different formats of uh, podcasts. Yeah, because research it, has to be done, yeah. Because maybe, I wonder if there are podcasts that are only one person podcasts, like some kind of weird monologues too, you know? Uh, or like, what? <laughs> I actually have vocal modifier, I can become two in more than two people. I can help you with that. I mean, as far as both, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. There, there's, no, there's, be, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of processing I could, and effects I could do, but, but no, uh, you know, I, personally, what I like is, again, when it comes to podcasts so far, I mean, I like different kinds, but the one as far as like creative podcasts go, I like storytelling podcasts. Mm -hmm. And, and I, it could be then something like where we, I guess, interview different people or, um, mm -hmm stuff like that and then we create stories out of the, that or uh, stories or we like put their stories into a context so like for example soundscape or you could be like or we could like invite guests right in this context i don't know new yorkers or what, whoever to tell stories um i'm not sure what kind we can find something that might be like what well, we want to talk about these kinds of stories yeah and then you know, you could either, you could be the um, host. And so you would have someone to talk to as a guest, if we, if we had a guest. Mm -hmm. And I could do the soundscape side of things. I don't know, that's just one idea that comes to mind. That's and possible. Be, yeah, and it, the, obviously the theme of it, we, you know, it depends who you have on, you can, the, you know, we, we would get to choose the character, the the guest, I suppose. Like, it can be hypothetical. You know what's and, great reference? We need to, I need to rewatch it again. And obviously, yeah. you too, you know, this uh, Midnight Gospel no. on Netflix. Uh, uh, I don't know it, no. Midnight Gospel, it's, it's a cartoon, but it's actually a cartoon drawn around oh. the podcast. Interesting. Uh, and it, it made into a much more surreal experience. Uh, it's great. And I, um, that's something that, I, that's how I'm thinking about it. Because I think in terms of ingredients, I think it is one pretty easy, free-flowing conversation, one ingredient. Mm -hmm. Then another, like, I would say almost like a second layer of processing is like soundscape design, right? Mm -hmm. And then as the thing progresses, we can add even more composers and even more songs exactly. for like exactly, different yeah. chapters exactly. or different parts of it. And, 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 and then, so you have like this one train of thought of two people basically bouncing off each other. Like mm -hmm. I would say in comedy, we call it a straight man, like mm -hmm. something uh, clear. Know. And then you have another almost another reality that like starts seeping in which is sonic sonic experience mm -hmm. like uh and it could be like afterwards it's in your hands like once we record the vocal no like the the talking it's right. in your hands and and you're like oh this is a bit of bullshit let's cut this word and throw in like the orange whatever you yeah, you, yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know like uh or, or you're like i let's just turn her voice into an elephant yeah. You know, and but somewhere by the middle, and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or like, how about uh, we start panning uh, this phrase? Sure, yeah. For a second, you know, like, and then back to to straight man again, you know. What is the theme or topic? That, I mean, I, I don't know if you would operate that way, but is there a theme or topic you would want to put on this? For sure. Or like, for sure. again, for like sure. a something format that's... of something, you know. Yeah, for sure. And it, it has to be something punchy and like really incorrect. In, that's something that drives me. Mm. And then uh, a little bit well, like, what the fuck? You well, know? it could be, you know, there are different ways of making it punchy and, and or not correct. One is um, the story or the content, the words, or the way it's told. 
because right now we're talking about the way it's told like mm. uh, or, or fucking up the way the story might be told like you know we say like i could edit the voice to do something or something weird uh, it could also be a combination of both what's being said and the way it's told i mean I don't know, or yeah. it can be of course it can be more existential like that's also my theme usually i mean personally what i like is i like at least one thing that is very quite simple and the yeah. other thing bends it like there's a factor that kind of poses a question into the simplicity especially lately i've been more interested in some like the work being as efficient as possible uh, this is just my own work my, like recently that's what i've been interested in but i still like the idea of like one element or maybe one part of the work is like quite direct but then something else like puts a different perspective on it but because it makes it stranger or uh, puts it into a different light. And I think you that's know, why that's why like the whole like remember we talk about like police sirens turning into chickens and stuff like that like first you hear it as is and then there's a twist or a turn or something that morphs it into another thing. But okay, yeah, what were you going to say? Okay, okay. So I have an idea for a while like especially when pandemic started yeah uh my uh, first or second or third reaction was like you know what i need to talk to visionaries like i want to talk to people like i really want to have like in my room i want to have like the best hand of comedians i want to have like yeah. people who are doing some science who are like interesting writers yeah. uh, like whatever and i want to ask them like where is that space for them for like for their stability in their mind mm. and for flexibility mm. and like um and what what's next and what do they think to do because it's very easy to uh, to start like going down tumbling the in the news and like how terrible everything is and right. of course it is and right. like oh, we are in the middle of insanity like uh, right. across the globe Right. Uh, but there is also each and every individual here and now and we are alive and I still think we are like a hydraulic electromagnetic fields that that need to also function properly yeah. and for me it's actually a question really like uh, so how do you find the space for instance how do you continue creating work mm -hmm. or what are your techniques or do mm -hmm. you even stop or what's the or do you start or mm -hmm. how what are the tricks for survival you know like mm -hmm. if let's say if everything turns into like this weird pressure cooker environment mm -hmm. there has to be an island somewhere so that's but maybe it's just a topic for one podcast or maybe it's a topic for 10 and like we're inviting yeah. interesting people when you say space what do you like create the mentally space? Like, oh, for uh, themselves, like, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what is your comfort zone? Like, where is, how do you create that comfort zone when everything around is falling apart? Like, and changing and transforming. Right. As well as your practice. And no matter how, like, scientists are also creative people. You know, like, I thought, because that is not a public conversation at all right now. Mm -hmm. uh, like, that's sort of, we're putting it down into a fifth, line of importance which is okay i agree but but at the same time neither you nor i are news channels right so uh, we also could contribute different content 